What's up guys, uh, Andrew here and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red version. Last time we got all uh, the housework so to speak taken care of and we beat Blue and we got the first third of our team, Mini and Bellaram. Now this episode, let me run to the Pokemon Center real quick, this episode we are gonna hit up Viridian Forest and do our thing. After we, you know, pay a visit to our favorite nurse. Our only nurse. And we hope to see you again. I still don't... I think that's a mistranslation because they don't hope to see us again. That that sounds silly no matter who you are. Because, I mean, you don't go to the doctor and it's like, hey, uh, uh, you know, the operation was successful. You don't have cancer anymore. You can live a nice, happy life. Hey, but we hope to see you again. Come back, you know, anytime you want. That doesn't happen. So, that's why, like in Hoenn, they say we hope you excel. Because that's probably more towards what they originally meant. Because they don't want to see us again. That's not right. Alright, that guy's not a trainer, but there's a paralyzed heal, I believe. Oh, a potion. They're generous with potions in this game. And we're going to start taking down these trainers. Alright, now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up non-essential battles just for the sake of time. Alright, we'll let this be Minnie's fight. Perfect. Caterpie cannot hack it. I love that meme where it doesn't know what it's doing. I mean, I'm sure almost every person playing this game has said that, but... I'm gonna say it too. And then I, I can't wait till they throw out cocoon Pokemon at us because I can just special attack them and ooh, and now that we have Gust, we can get some nice levels. We use that as free experience because I mean special won't affect us. Okay. I think this is an antidote in case yep, in case you got just poisoned that previous battle. They're being nice to you. And this guy was not in the original games, but we'll fight him anyways. He might be little, but he won't like it if you go easy. Oh, I'm not going to go easy on anybody. Okay. Where the Viridian Forest isn't too tough. And did you know that, what's it called, Santaloon Forest and Kalos and X and Y? It's basically the shape of Viridian Forest. The first forest in the game. I don't know if it's called Santaloon Forest, but it's the relatively the same shape of Viridian Forest. So that's a nice little throwback. Alright. I don't know what he was doing on that tree, but Pokemon evolve and he's explaining to us that they do so. Alright. Now, like I said before, I'm a little worried about Brock, but I think we should be okay because we'll, we'll bring out the old Squirtle and it should make everything better. And this guy's like, hey, what's the rush, man? Cool it off. But we literally just sped through Viridian Forest because we got shit to do. And I want the running shoes. Once we get the running shoes, we won't be speeding up nearly so often. But I just don't want to take all day to get to the next part of the video. Because I don't want to keep the videos too long. You know, I try and aim for around 15 minutes or so. Give or take, depending on what we're doing. But I don't want them to take forever. Okay. And we're going to take out Game Jedi. Oh, speaking of Game Jedi, make sure you... Uh, you check that out when you get the chance. It's gonna be pretty cool. Or it is pretty cool depending on when you're watching this because I know YouTube is forever. Alrighty, alright. Brock's Gym. And there's the museum. Nothing really special in there. However, if you get cut later on and you go in there, you can get the old amber which gives you one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, Aerodactyl. Totally worth it. You might want to check that out. Alright, so this is going to be interesting. 
but we're gonna get down to it. He's like, you're 10,000 light years away from Brock. I really like, I like Brock's gym, especially how they did it in Pokemon Origins. I think that was pretty cool, and how they explain why gym leaders use weaker Pokemon against trainers that don't have badges. It's just, it's pretty cool. It explains a lot, you know, makes it more realistic. Hopefully, Game Jedi is strong enough to to do something in this gym, though. Because I am worried that it is a little underleveled. I don't know what it, if it can take any hits. Especially if it got sand in size. Alright, level 9. Ooh, and 10. Wow. We should be good. I'm going to run to the Pokemon Center real quick. Be right back. Alright, now once again, I feel like we're cheating for this gym, but once again, we have no choice. Uh, so we're just gonna, we're gonna do our thing against Brock, and then it's gonna be the straight and narrow, I promise. Brock would like to battle, so he has a Geodude and an Onyx, for those of you who do not know. And we're just gonna test our luck against them with our water type attacks. Oh, we're good. We're perfect, especially if Onyx does stuff like bide and defend. Oh, we are, we are in the clear. Remember back in the old games? Like, let's say you pick Charmander because you didn't learn Metal Claw in the old games. You, my, what my, uh really good you know cousin and I we grew up together what we used to call it is bringing out the boys like you'd have your a Rattata like a whatever a Caterpie anything can do something you'd bring him forth and you'd whittle that gym leader down and it, it works sometimes you know sometimes it didn't but sometimes it did all right good I'm glad we're getting some luck game Jet is getting a little spotlight which is cool it's like a paid advertisement on the video Alright, that's our boulder badge, folks. It was not the most ethical way, especially after I just stressed doing this challenge with the random Pokemon, but that that one right there could not be helped. Alright, so we just got our boulder badge. Perfect. And he's going to give us uh, TM39. I think that's uh, no longer Bite. I think now it's Rock Tomb? I couldn't be sure though. Yep, Rock Tomb. He used to give you Bide. Alright, so that's our uh, first badge. Really anticlimactic. We're gonna deposit uh, Game Jedi, heal up, and I'll see you at the edge of town. Alright, you wanna talk to the. Well, he will talk to you. This is when you get your running shoes, which is such a useful invention in Pokemon World. Because now we don't have to speed up all the time, we can still move quickly. Now anyways, uh, there's going to be a string of... Uh, oh, letter from your mom, yep. She loves you. There's, there's going to be a string of trainers up ahead. I'm going to avoid the ones I can, so Nidoran can get some training. But in the meantime, we'll take care of the ones that we can take care of. Like this girl, she just has Pidgeys. And we're going to speed through these, these randos, because they're randos. Nothing quite entertaining about these battles. I saw them, I'll debate even showing them. Just for the sake of time. Uh, you got a hiker down there, we're not equipped to fight hikers. Got a bug catcher right here though, we'll take care of that. I like playing to my strengths, so to speak. Alright. Gotta love type advantages. Nothing like them. Alright, uh, switch to mini, and normally I would love to put music up, I don't really quite know how to do that without getting around copyrights, because a long time ago, you know, I used to, you know, I had a different kind of channel, and we, we, we tried different things, but, uh, I would put up music while I would speed through while playing uh, a game, Pokemon game, and they would take away my audio right away, and I thought I could avoid this by giving credit where it was due, but it didn't work. And then my cousin, who also makes YouTube channels, YouTube videos, excuse me, his name is Dovanite, uh, he got away with it for quite some time, but eventually they cracked down on him too. So point is, although it would be really cool to put music in, because 
to make it more entertaining and I, you know I love music I'm sure you guys do too it's not worth it down the road possibly getting taken down I don't want to risk you know all that work going away for nothing so that's why there's no music but hopefully you get to hear me talk and I mean I'm entertaining I hope so And, sure, we'll use Pikachu. Uh, you can catch Nidoran right up ahead. I think it's somewhat of a rare Pokemon. Oh, wow. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. Never mind about being a rare Pokemon. Alright, I don't want to kill it, so let's... Okay, perfect. Whoops, I meant to click on Pokeball. Alright, come on. There's that damn fan again in the background. I really hope it's not a problem with videos. Uh, okay, we caught Nidoran. Perfect. Half our team is assembled. Yes, I shall name you. You know what? I'm going to name you Alex after my uh, good friend and partner who is going to be, uh, for the most part, running Game Jedi's. I'm, I'm just, you know, a partner helping out. But this is to you, man. You're a Nidoran. So we're going to heal real quick and finish off the rest of those trainers. And then they'll probably be good to call it quits for today. Alright, and here that man on the left side of the screen who is balding, he will sell you a magic cart for 500, which really isn't isn't that bad, and it's nice if you want to get a Gyarados early on. Uh, we're not going to do it, obviously, we didn't pull Gyarados out of the generator, but it can be done. And I think there's an item here. Yeah, Persian Berry. That'll heal confusion. If we find a use for that, great. I don't really think we will. Let's let's give Alex some love. Come on, man. Let's do it. All right, this woman has a Jigglypuff, and she says, "Eek! Did you touch me, bitch? You wish? I'm not gonna touch you with a 20-foot pole. You're jailbait." And it will no sing. Yeah, it'll no sing probably. So let's do this thing real quick. And, yep, we are asleep. And the thing is, Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff, they're pretty bulky Pokemon. And they're, they can be kind of annoying. Okay, but we took care of it. And Alex leveled up. Now, once, once he learns Double Kick, he'll be really useful. But until then, uh, we gotta kind of coddle him, so to speak. Just because I know he can't really take down... Uh, some of these guys. All right, buddy. Okay. Uh, he's he's climbing the ranks. Let's see how uh, we do against our lady friend. Wow, good job, Alex. All right, I think we got a couple more people to fight. You know what? We're gonna try our luck. We're not gonna push our luck, but we're definitely gonna. We're gonna. We tried. <laughs> we tried. And Alex is really catching up to the gang, which is pretty cool. Oh wow, there's no one down there. I think that was everyone we could fight. Yeah, I think it was. So, what we're gonna do is. We're gonna end the episode here, and next time we're gonna tackle the beauty of Mount Moon and all its splendor so if you liked what you saw make sure you subscribe and uh, don't forget to check out Game Jedi's too we got a lot of cool stuff there and I hope you guys have a good day or nighttime or whatever it is when you're watching this video just hope it's good
I'm Boss Andrew 3 and I will see you guys next time.